We came in Thursday night. We were given an assignment. This is, this is what needs to happen in the next 24 hours. We had to consult with H.H. Gregg, and they brought in their executives to present us with a task, which was to make a product offering to them. The Gateway Experience, the first hours of an NBA that's built on and in real business processes. It's rich, intense, and immersive. They have two hours to gather evidence, two hours to put together a presentation. And then it's a competition, and a winner will be declared. There are five teams, and we kind of refer to this as throwing them in the deep end of the pool. <laughs> it felt that way at first, but um, luckily everybody um, in charge of the MBA program and the Gateway Experience was really up front, and they just said, look, we know that this is going to seem impossible. What's going to be the next hot push? Do you have a certain product in mind or a certain price range in mind that, as a salesperson, you try to target first? Do you feel that H.H. Gregg is out first with these new products. Sometimes I have to make a decision with limited data. So that's why you have to focus on the, the two or three nuggets and, and, and be confident in that and go forward. Because if you think about it, in just a couple of hours, you can't do a deep dive analysis on anything. The goal here is not just to sell the customer the TV, but rather to sell them the home theater solution. What do you guys do to, to get them to make sure that they go and get the whole package here? Our number one goal is market share, to take that customer out of the marketplace. And if that means that we have to reduce our pricing in order for that to occur, then we do so. It's a real challenging experience because even though we have all the tools in our toolbox, we don't know as much as we think we know. So it's our job today to figure out what we don't know and put that all together and come up with some sort of solution to help H.H. Craig and their product mix. It's extremely challenging. One thing I've heard twice is... Um, higher end audio and it's going to match everything HH Greg does. High end audio. Yeah, because it's going to bring in the high margin. You, you bring up that audio is not that much to them, but maybe audio isn't bringing that much into them because they don't have much over. Yeah. Well, no, that's, yeah, that's the point. That's, we, we talked to a guy uh, over about the TVs and he's like, I don't care if I sell that, but if I can show them you know, something that's $1,500, uh, something that's $900 is going to be a lot easier to sell. The role of an MBA is to prepare individuals to maximize their potential in, in a world that is full of too much data. There's 24-7 data, and you have to prepare yourself to assimilate decide on a, an approach and move and that's why I like this approach today. We came back with a lot of information and it ranges everything from customer service and service activities to actual products and departments and recommendations. The high-end audio they have, it's available, you can order it, you just don't see it on the floor. I like having it on display in a couple stores, like I mentioned maybe one store in each you know, major market, like obviously here, the flagship store. That's a good idea. You keep it in a centralized location in a market like that, I, and I think that solves your problem with the cost analysis of it. Low risk, because it's mostly going to be special order, and we're not really keeping much inventory on that, other than a couple of stores where we'll have it on display. Ultimately, just having that may, may bump the customer up from you know, a, a mid-level product to an upper mid-level product. When I walked by there, I thought, well, here's all this home theater equipment, but we don't have the stereo stuff, we don't have furniture, we don't have, other than a few uh, TV stands, we don't have the entertainment system. It's just the technology behind it. So, I mean, it could go either way, either don't bother or, or bring in more furniture and, and make it a real experience. We'll have a number of their top executives in the room that will be expected to listen to the presentations and give them real, honest feedback. Everything from that's a great idea to you're not telling me something I don't already know. So, so what we uh, rec recommend is that you uh, bring high-end audio into several key stores to complement your high-end theater. It seems that there is a, a natural marriage between high-end video. If I go in and I purchase uh, an $8,000 television that I'm going to probably want to invest in a high-end audio system as well. Ultimately, we got some great feedback from the executives at H.H. Gregg regarding our project and our presentation. They understood our target very quickly. That impressed me. Going through your presentation, what I liked best was the SWOT analysis. In terms of any group here, I think that you guys identified opportunities that could be taken advantage of. Where you could have improved was having some, to Steve's point, data as to why high-end audio would be the right selection. But you guys have to be really good at quick research. Uh, there's plenty of data out there on the internet to really give me uh, an idea of this is where Bose is and this is what we're talking about. Because I thought we had high-end. I thought Bose was pretty high-end. Some of you have this idea that 
um, doing something that's, quote, low risk or cheap entry or a trial is a good thing, and it's not. And so what will happen is if you do one of these cheap trials, the manufacturer knows you're not serious about it, the customer knows you're not serious about it, and you won't be successful. What I think that you did a great job of understanding was understanding the halo effect of you go to one step higher and suddenly the high end is now the middle end, and so you're able to increase the image there as well. We got good feedback um, from our facilitator, talked about how we worked as a group, a team. You were overly polite. Okay. You were so into wanting to make sure that teamwork was good that you, know, that you allowed people to interrupt and break the flow of someone's conversation and where they were going with an idea. Certainly from a long-term standpoint in business, you know, be wary of that. This program really did what it was supposed to. For me, I've got a lot to learn, and I hope that we get to do an experience like this again with more time, having the full education of the MBA behind us. So what we want them to show us is they're capable of following a process. And that process will help them in all of the future MBA courses they take. It was fantastic. I'm exhausted. But it was really worth it. It was really worth it.